what are the greatest risk or what is the greatest risk to growth next year? I think the biggest risk right now is that Treasury bond yields overshoot as the Fed begins to taper quantitative easing. It's conceivable that the 10-year Treasury yield perhaps runs well above a level that the U.S. economy can tolerate, and as a result, we have a slowdown by interest-sensitive spending as well as lower equity prices. So you're worried about an unruly bond market and the impact that could have on different things from mortgages to home loans, to car loans, and things like that? That's a good point because, you know, you brought attention to what's going on on the housing front. And not all of the news we're getting from housing has been especially good. In the month of November, we had the first year-to-year -year decline by unit sales of existing homes in the United States since June of 2011. And I might add that back in June of 2011, the 10-year Treasury yield was at 3%. By the end of 2011, that 10-year Treasury yield was down to 2%. So perhaps this recent weakening, softening of housing is uh, telling us that, if anything, Treasury bond yields might be somewhat lower a year from now as opposed to being well above 3%. So housing has been contributing to the economic revival over the last two or three years. So if we see a slower housing market, what kind of impact will that have on the overall economy? Well, I think that could very well take growth from roughly 2.5% down to 2%. I don't know if it's enough to precipitate a recession. We're in pretty good shape as far as credit quality is concerned. But I would become worried. I'd become concerned if in conjunction with fewer than expected home sales, we observed a softening of home prices. And I think this firming of home prices uh, that was so prominent in 2013 has gone to great lengths at improving consumer confidence and lending support to household expenditures in general.